So this whole time I'm thinking, gosh, Husky and T-Rex are just too strong. Why are they in this pack? Well, the reason why is this little guy here called the Anglerfish. Now the Anglerfish is a somewhat unassuming pet. However, if you can get him to level two or three, you can steal scaling pets from the enemy team, largely a Husky, largely a T-Rex, and just get really quick level two, level threes, just for free, essentially, for the three gold you paid for the anglerfish and or waffle, and it just takes off. You can quickly outscale any other build that you would normally have to pay a lot for just with the anglerfish. So check it out, we got some good games for you. Hope I inspire some of y'all to check out the anglerfish, but for now, let's jump right in. All right, get a little Alchemedes, get a little mosquito action. Befuddled tools. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, we're good. We're just going for as many early wins as possible. Or the merrier is what they say in the industry. Ooh, that mosquito just got obliterated. Absolutely annihilated that guy. Alright, give me a level. Try an eel. We haven't really tried an eel yet. Which naturally you'd want to run a crab with it, right? This looks pretty good. Sure. Take the draw. That's fine. Let's go level. Here, here, here. Hold you two. Beautiful. <clears throat> okay. Now we go here, here. That's not gonna work. Grab you, hold you, hold you. You really only need the one cucumber on our eel. Good. I didn't think we were gonna come out on top there. Not with our two was it two fourteen eel. But hey. Sometimes it just works. Let's let's not worry about an anteater. Whenever there's a hippo, I'm always a little weary of a full sending an anteater. Perfect. Somehow it's going in our favor thus far. Uh, let's do one more. And then we can go here. Sure. Just give this guy infinite health. Looking good. These two are the dynamic duo. They're just sending it. Okay, so let's go here. We are gonna have to pivot eventually. Otherwise, we're gonna be in trouble. But for now, I think these two are gonna be pretty good. Um, let's see. We're still okay, I think. Yes. We need to get some attack on our eel so he goes, his ability goes before the crab. Let's go here. Hawk, hawk, crab, falcon, camel. Hawk, tour. 
There's the crab. Again. Run another crab? <laughs> Is that too much? Um, maybe we run a hawk instead of the mosquito. Hold on to the waffles for a second. Hold your waffles. More hawks. Just run it like this, right? Hang on to some chocolate. Oh yeah, dude, these guys are cooking. These guys know what's up. So we could get a husky. Husky off of our anglerfish. Or a husky a la mode. Let's not worry about these guys for a, for a second here. We need to start getting some attack on our eel, otherwise this is not going to end well. Let's go here. Ostrich? Maybe. Okay. Maybe that's how we get the attack? Because we could get some ostriches from our anglerfish, in theory. Unless they just have straight huskies. Why don't we try to get a little bit creative this time? <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's just husky galore. There's way too many huskies. Alright, what do we got? Husky deer. Level. Huge. I think we do this. We can get the husky level, and then we can roll with these guys. Huge. Plus two, plus two. We got anglerfish next turn. We got kind of like a double hybrid scaling. We got husky and ostrich. Ouch. Oh, we're so close. <laughs> we're so close. Alright. Run me here. Husky level up. Get three. We get an ostrich. Don't mind if I do. Let's hold the sixers. So we're looking for anglerfish. We're looking for waffle. Anything like that. Yo, this guy is kind of thick. Do we think that's just the husky T-Rex scaling? Probably. <laughs> Not actually his ability. Alright, what do you have? T-Rex, husky, falcon. We could potentially get some sixes here. T-Rex, sure. Would we rather just have a T-Rex? Maybe instead of an eel. Run it here. That's great. Instant level 3 T-Rex. <laughs> Into an ostrich. Or do we just roll, get the two? Maybe just roll. Hold the chocolate.
Let's see if we if this can hold up. Actually not worry about chocolate here. Maybe we should. We could get an ostrich. The scaling is kind of insane. Just the sheer quantity is a little ridiculous. But he has the snake plays. Is there onion in this pack? No, he must have got that from the Dumbo octopus. Okay, go here. Here. We can't roll, unfortunately. So we're just gonna have to hopefully win. Try a duckling. Try a little something like this. Fragile, fragile beavers. Leave it to the beavers. Sure. When you got a duckling on your team, you, you take a draw. I think now we set it up like this. Got a little cascading strawberry effect going on our Alchemedes. Well, this guy's just asking for a loss. I don't know what he's doing. Alright, cool. We gotta win. So, let's roll. Do a little something like this. Okay. Looks like we're gonna come out with a just barely scrape by out the win. Let's go here. Goldfish early into, do we want a tier three or four? There's some solid tier fours. I think we can wait. Okay, I think this should be good. I say we send it. See what happens. Roll me. So we'll do something like this, but then we're gonna put the Falcon in the back as our kind of closer unit of sorts. And let's not worry about the camel here. take a draw. Okay, I don't want to go too crazy on the fal on the falcon here. But I do think this is some pretty solid scaling we can afford. And we are still getting some health or some attack back from the hummingbird. So it's not all for naught. Hmm, unlucky. Level me. 
into a husky is great. I think we ditch you, toss the husky in here, grab the goldfish. So now we're looking for a falcon so we can pull his attack back up before we waste too many husky triggers here. Hmm, unlucky. It's always the hippo. Alright, where's the falcon? No. This is gonna be a problem if we can't find the falcon. We're also scaling up a goldfish for some reason. <laughs> Doesn't seem entirely necessary. Okay, so we're kind of on the brink a little bit here. Um, we're gonna need a saving grace. Hopefully we can get this falcon. That's a husky. Um, not quite a falcon, but I think we take it. Whatever we do here, it's gonna have to be dramatic. We could grab a hamster. Okay, I'm glad we did. See, like, we can get a lot, <laughs> a lot of rolls. Hopefully finding the falcon at some point. Um, I think we do it like this. Hold the husky. Let's, let's freeze him. So we go here, because now we just get a bunch of hamster rolls. I think though, okay, so we get rid of this. I was going to say we could open another spot, but now we have anglerfish, which is probably going to be pretty good. If you can't find the right units in your own shop, <laughs> just get an anglerfish and steal the opponent's units instead. If your team sucks, just take the enemy's team. I think is going to be the motto here. Um, assuming we don't just like straight up lose, because this team sucks. This is like the worst team ever. Um, I mean, yeah, there's no no surprise here. We're getting kind of clobbered. Come on, anglerfish, give me something. <laughs> All right, I guess we get the falcon that we've been looking for. Get him to level two. Just toss in a harpy eagle, I guess. Okay, we could get a level three hamster next turn, if that counts. I don't think waffle is worth keeping here. It's like if the anglerfish was level two, sure, but level one anglerfish, nah. Also, their team is kind of lame, anyways. <laughs> No hate, but... Alright, well the falcon came through in the end, that's huge. Getting a level 2 Niala to give us a 16-16 dog. We take those. We'll throw one hamster. Uh, I guess we keep the husky here. Keep the chocolate. Level. Okay, so... Jeez, that's a lot of huskies, okay. I think we run anglerfish. There's there's an argument to be made to waiting next turn, and we can give the anglerfish like a chocolate to set up for a big pivot next turn. I think we try that. Use up the rest of these hamster rolls. Another chocolate. Hopefully against a team with some good units, throw in some anglerfish. Do something cool there. We got a T-Rex, we got a Husky. Definitely some solid options here. Emu if we want it. Let's see. Let's see what the what the anglerfish gives us. Husky, sure. Let's go. Go here. More husky. Do it again. See if we get another husky. <laughs> All right. Um. How do we want to do this? 
And we can just stack the husky here. Get the falcon cooking. That's probably the play. I would have to imagine. Ostrich hamster could be cool. That's going to be like a big... If we can get... If we can get it to work. You... Okay. Looking good. We're hanging in there. Um, so what did that guy have? Emu, Tyrannosaurus. Nialas. Let's see. Tyrannosaurus is probably going to be the play. In which case... Who do we get rid of? <laughs> You're giving 8-8. Eight, eight. You would be giving 8-8 eight, eight targeted. Do we get rid of a falcon? Let's go like hyperscaling. Go here. <laughs> we have so many T-Rexes, it's insane. Alright, so now we're gonna roll for more anglerfish. Not anglerfish, we're looking for waffles. Are we, are we looking at a Niala here? I'm gonna say probably not. I think this scaling is probably pretty good. Let's ignore the Niala. Let's look for more waffles, I guess. We were off just by a smidgen on that, that cutoff, but we're okay. We're hanging in there. I wish people would play ostrich. So they had just had a bunch of lioness. Not really gonna help us here. So the angler fish angle isn't really gonna work. So let's just try to get the level three on the husky, I think. Lioness, harp eagle, niala. I think we... I would say save the waffle, but chocolate is going to be better for us here. One more roll. Did not find it. That is fine. We'll just grab some waffles. Okay. We got a 40-42 hamster. Is this the anglerfish dream right here? <laughs> what did you have? Tyrannosaurus, ostrich, deer, husky. Could find some huskies. Let's see what we get. Are we doing an ostrich angle with the hamster? Or are we just looking for a husky? <laughs> Maybe we try the ostrich. Do the, the holy trinity of uh, of scalers. Oh, I didn't know it can do that. It can like skip over multiple times. That's kind of cool. So it already paid off switching to the ostrich. Then let's go here, look for a tier six. That'll do it. We'll hold you. We will roll, get another four, four on our team here. And now I just look for sixes. 
Sticks and waffles is the play. Not bad, not bad. Hopefully we can get this ostrich cooking up quick enough here. And it looks like we're outscaling a lot of teams. It's kind of hard to say for certain. But we're, we definitely got a lot of scaling going. Okay, here we go there. We do have... We got one option for tier sixes. Got it. Cool. Nobody's ever run an ostrich out here. It's kind of sad. <laughs> Let's try for cornucopia. Peach or conpeto could be actually pretty good. Um, maybe not yet though. We still like our scalers. Maybe not the husky. The husky's giving three three to these two. Yeah, we'll keep him. I think Cornucopia is going to be the play. For the most part. Just trying to get a whole lot of... A whole lot of support there. Husky is going to be 6 now. Like we're going to be pretty well off here as well. It's always the hard part when you get a scaling team is scaling the other scalers. So <laughs> it works out pretty well here. When we have three scalers, they all just scale each other. Hold you. I think the hamster is doing wonders for us here. What do you have? More ostrich? We didn't find it. Unfortunate. That one doesn't count. It's got to come from the, the anglerfish. Realistically, the ostrich doesn't actually need to scale anything else. <laughs> so let's go cornucopia. I guess we'll throw a tomato on. Why not? Yeah, so like we don't even need to do this really anymore. I guess we're just kind of looking for cornucopias, question mark. That's probably going to be our play. Because yeah, like what else are we really scaling at this point? We'd be better off getting some, some like melons or something, you know what I'm saying? Something saucy we can throw on these guys. Husky, shark, neal, snake, bison, no thank you. But yeah, I guess right now we are exclusively looking for cornucopia. <laughs> Let's see if we can find it. The answer would be no. It's like we could put a chili on, but like there's no melons in the pack inherently, or innately I guess is a better word. So like what's the point, you know? What is it gonna do for us? I'd say it would very rarely do anything meaningful. I think we're much better off just looking for cornucopia. What do you got? Again, yeah, none of those really do anything. Cornucopia, where are you at? <laughs> How many times we gotta roll? Whenever you're looking for something, it doesn't show up ever. Come on. There he is. Something good, please. <laughs> good. <laughs> Um, against a full team of 50-50s, technically the mushroom would be okay. So we'll put the mushroom back here on a husky. 
Don't want to put it on the, the ostrich because it still technically needs some scaling. A little bit. <laughs> and now we're all 50. So, I mean, we actually almost saw it come through there with the mushroom. <laughs> that was actually really close. This is about... I mean, let, let's not... Let's not pretend this was a scaling kind of game. This was an anglerfish game through and through. Anglerfish just sauced up this team so hard. You really can't go wrong. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It's really satisfying playing the anglerfish, especially when you have hamster on your team. It's a good time. Would recommend.